friends, how are you? Welcome back. I hope it is warm where you are because I love the sunshine um, and the pool. So summer is here and I'm excited. Um, so many exciting things happening in Mama's Numbers this summer. So I wanted to create a way to make it, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little bit of a drive through, um, but I wanted to create a way that would be fun and helpful for anyone to create a really awesome homeschool schedule. And so I put together all these great bonus classes and Mama's members that will be happening this month. And within that, you'll get a workbook that members can just download for free. Um, I don't know if I'll be selling it, so I think I'll just have it available for members. But um, to just be able to work through and create this amazing homeschool schedule and have my help doing it. So I'm really, really excited to be doing those bonus classes this summer. Um, those of you in Mama's members, just watch for your emails to see when those classes will be playing. Um, so Mama's membership is a month to month membership and it is the best membership for your brain, the best price at only 35 bucks a month. So friends, um, you will thank yourself as you are having this homeschool year that's so much more fun and start creating some really awesome intentional things. So you do not want to miss that. You can go to coachmagthomas.com slash join and uh, go sign up there. Okay, did my uh, title of this podcast catch your attention? Why I left my co-op? How interesting, right? I decided to leave it, which is probably crazy for a lot of you. Maybe even crazy for the sweet ladies that were in my co-op. Um, we just did, when Karin was on here with me, <clears throat> we did an episode, episode 101, about our co-op and how much we loved it, the structure of it, uh, what different co-op ideas. So I'm going to drink water throughout this, so sorry about that. Um, but all the beautiful things with co-ops. Um, I've actually been involved in a co-op, so... We'll be starting our 14th year homeschooling and of our homeschooling years, I want to say we've done a co-op almost every single year. So probably not our first year, but at least 10 to 12 years we've been involved in a co-op. Started with Friday Fun Class, uh, which involved, evolved into Stripe. Then I've done groups where I could just drop my kids off like a Shakespeare um, a writing class, stuff like that. I participated in Nights of Freedom with different co-ops. That's a TJ Ed thing. Um, and then I've been in Family Leadership Academy, and I don't know how long, somewhere between six to eight years, that I have been involved in this co-op that I just decided to leave. And uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about it for a hot minute about why, because I've talked about how much I love it and the friendships I've made and the awesome friendships my children have. So why in the world would I leave? You ready for the answer? Because I wanted to. I left because I wanted to. Now, it's interesting about thinking about leaving something. And a lot of times people apply this to relationships, right? Like don't leave a marriage. Like you, people think if they leave a marriage or whatnot, that, that they'll be happier. Now, if there's extreme abuse or something like that, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about a marriage where like, we just don't get along. Um, we just like, I don't enjoy each other. I, I think he's dumb. She's the worst, whatever. If you leave a marriage thinking that you'll automatically be happier somewhere else, you are going to be wrong. Thinking that the grass will be greener on the other side. You get happy first and then you leave, right? And I've heard that talked about in relationships so often. And I realized it totally applies to anything you want to leave, right? So recently I left my orthodontist. It sounds like I'm cheating on him, but I'm not. Um, I left my orthodontist, not because I'm mad at him. And I actually, when I left, I brought a big thank you basket. Like, thank you so much for the experiences we've had with you. I left on awesome terms. And he said, if you ever want to come back, please come back. We love your family, all these awesome things. And so I was happy first and then I left and I found something that works a little bit better for my family. Um, so with this co-op, I wasn't, I'm not leaving because I'm angry or mad um, I actually still love all these people. So then people will then often ask, well, then why would you leave if you're happy? Right? Friends, because I wanted to. If I'm happy there, like you may think like, this doesn't even make sense. Why wouldn't you just stay? 
Um, and I could totally have coached myself through some of the obstacles there and to overcome them and and uh, been really just super proactive and being very involved and just showing up and being a super awesome helper in this homeschool co-op. But the bottom line is, I don't want to. <laughs> I really just wanted to go. And so I left. And it was awesome. I had texted the board and, and I had thought about um, running to be on the board. And so I had just texted them before elections and said, hey, I decided like I'm, I'm just actually going to be done. I'm not going to even run and I'm not even going to be at our co-op. And then just recently I sent out a text on our group meet chat where I just said, thank you. Thank you for everything to everybody. And I love you all. I'm still going to see a lot of these moms in my learning circle group. I'm still going to see them in different play dates and the ways that we interact and all those awesome things. So I'm not leaving because I'm mad or anybody yelled at me or any like hot drama, hot gossip. I left because I wanted to. Um, I also see this as an opportunity to do something different and I'm really excited about that. I created an awesome homeschool prom that I did at the end of April and I had an, a huge turnout with really short notice and scrambling to find a building and scrambling with lots of things with COVID and, and guidelines in our state and different people's opinions of that, how you should handle things. Um, and I loved it all. I loved throwing this prom together. And so I just thought like, how amazing if I created something bigger, something really awesome for the whole community that wasn't just my co-op, but could also serve not the co-op, not only the co-op that I love so dearly, but so many co-ops right? And maybe I will and maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just hang out with my kids on Fridays and sleep in. Maybe I'll travel more. Maybe we'll do d lots of d fun different things. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did leave my co-op and the reason is because I wanted to. <laughs> um, it's been a fun journey and an amazing, amazing co-op with some of the most beautiful, amazing women I have ever worked with. Uh, I've seen my own growth by being surrounded by such awesome, awesome ladies. Uh, and so I am forever grateful for that part of my journey and grateful that our my children's journey was surrounded with so many amazing kids in that way. And uh, so just letting you guys know kind of an up-to-date with what I'm doing with my co-op and why I've left. And, uh, and it really just boils down to because I wanted to. And... I'm really excited to see what that looks like in the future, uh, whether I create something new. Um, maybe one day I'll go back, um, but maybe I won't. And so it's really exciting to see the to be able to leave something and to leave it in such a positive high note, to leave it and just be like, I love you and I'm done. Thank you for this awesome journey. Thank you for this awesome chapter. So just as you guys want to maybe leave a co-op <laughs> or what about even leaving public school and deciding to homeschool? You don't have to leave public school because you hate people and you, you think the school's the worst or anything like that. You can totally love them and love like so many people love their teachers and love the school and love all these things and you can still leave them because you want to. So I just want to empower you guys that if you really want to do something to challenge you, if you do want to leave something, I challenge you to question your reasoning why and questioning whether you feel like if whether or not you think this will make you feel better because it won't. Um, so you'll just trade one problem for another if you think it's going to alleviate discomfort or alleviate something like that. But if you want to leave something, I challenge you to get very clear on why you want to leave and if you think it's going to make you feel better or not and if it's not and maybe you go on and do some coaching about that to get to that place of just like I love them and I actually do actually really want to leave that I want to empower you that you can and you can leave on such a high note with so much love of just like I love you and I'm done thank you and still being friends with people even when you have a conversation like that and those of you who might be leaving schools like giving your teacher a thank you basket. Somebody was teasing me that I go and get the special bread when I break up with somebody. Cause so I was like, I get this bread when I've been saying, thank you so much for this opportunity. And I'm actually done. And they said, it's your breakup bread. <laughs> so maybe I'll have to get my co-op some of this awesome bread and do my official breakup. But, uh, 
I just want to empower you guys that you can leave a situation from the space of love and from the space of it's okay and it's exciting and different and, and uh, just because you want to. So I want to just challenge you guys to really question if you do want to leave something, why? Do you think it's going to be make you feel better or something? And I could even tie that back into those of you who have questioned, I want to quit homeschooling, I want to leave homeschooling. Is it because you think it will make you feel better? A lot of times, I know that one um, comes up because they think, a lot of mamas think like, well, then I will be a nicer mom. Or then um, I will feel peaceful if my kids aren't home with me all day. And so you won't get it. You'll just trade it. So if you're um, feeling crazy because you homeschool all day, then you'll just switch that crazy where you're, you feel crazy because now you're doing homework in the afternoons. So if you want to leave something, love it first and leave it from that space of I love this and I'm done. So friends, I want you to have an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you next week.